Hello, I'm John Hemingway. I thought we'd make this quick bonus video just because I'm quite regularly being asked about vaccination for blue tongue at the moment. And I thought I'd do a quick video uh, just to give you my thoughts on that and explain the situation. So, uh, blue tongue, we had it uh, not winter just finished, but the one previously, we had some cases then, fairly relaxed about them because uh, although we were getting positive cases, it was too cold for it to spread on. We knew that was the case. Uh, we then had a period where nothing much happened during the first half of last summer, summer 24, and then towards the back end of the summer in the autumn, uh, we saw some blue tongue cases and spread of Blue tongue within the UK. This is uh, serotype three, the same one as they've had big issues with in Europe. Now, uh, we're coming up to spring 2025 and the question is, is it going to re-emerge? Now, yes, there have been some positive cases already uh, this side of winter, which is quite worrying. Um, we know that cows especially can remain viremic. They can harbour this virus for quite a long time and then be bitten by a midge and still go on to infect another new animal through that route. So there's no particular reason that I can see to think that we aren't going to have continuing cases going into this summer. Now, what we know about this virus is that the air temperature needs to be about 15 degrees or above for it to spread onwards. The midges operate obviously at ambient temperature and if the temperature is below that, then the virus doesn't replicate. We were fortunate last year in that we only really got this virus at the end of the summer into the autumn when temperatures were on the down anyway. So there was limited opportunity for it to spread uh, last year. Now that we're getting positive cases at the start of this year, there is definitely real scope for this virus to spread uh, quite substantially throughout the country uh, over the course of summer 2025. So the question uh, is, should I vaccinate? Well, vaccines are available. There are three vaccines that are available. They've got emergency authorization. Now, you should be aware that there are some differences between the three different vaccines, and this is a conversation definitely for you to have with your vet. Some are just one injection, some are two injections, and they have different minimum ages at which they can be given. So there are a lot of variables that might influence your decision on whether or not you want to vaccinate against this disease. But what has been produced is some of a decision making tree uh, that shows the various risk factors that might influence whether you as a, a livestock farmer would be at high risk of your stock having issues with this disease. So rather than me go through all of them now, I'm going to put a link in the description to that decision making tree. You can have a look at that and see what there is applicable to you if you think you would like to vaccinate. Now is the time to speak to your vet. There is a certain amount of paperwork to be done with them because they only have emergency authorization. On the whole, is it going to be a good idea to vaccinate? Yes. Is it right for you specifically? Have a look at those risk factors and speak to your vet about that. And if you make that decision, uh, get them to get that vaccine for you. Do the paperwork, protect your animals. That's it for now. I hope that was useful. And that link will be posted down in the description for this video. All right, I'll see you soon.